Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Uh, welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. So, I hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. In this video, why am I getting an accent? I don't know where in the world that accent was coming from. Sorry, my apologies. In this video, we're going to be going over how to fly Dreth, um, at least showing the way that I fly him. As a sorcerer, I am pretty impressed. He has a lot of skills and the kind of spell synergy counteracts the normal natural weaknesses of sorcerers. I will, of course, will go over that as we're flying him. Um, and, you know, you guys can watch. I see mixed opinions on him. Some people are saying, wow, he's awesome. Other people are saying, absolutely not. He's trash. Personally, for me, I'm going to max him out. This is the first legendary dragon that I have maxed out in a season in a very long time. Like, I think it's been almost a year. I think it was like Fomar was the last legendary I have maxed out from a season. And I'm going to do it with this guy. So that says a lot um, as far as my views on his usability. Um, so yeah, not a bad dragon. Also wanted to mention, if you are looking for a team, hit me up in game. If you're like level 200 and active in Atlas or you want to learn Atlas and you want to fly with me, um, Hit me up in game. Dark Shades is currently in Platinum 2, looking to fill up the roster with people who are willing to learn, willing to work on Atlas, and, uh, you know, just be good team members, you know? So, yeah. Anyways, hit me up. I'm co-leading that currently, uh, and it's kind of like a sister team. So, alrighty. Let's go ahead and uh, start hitting some people, you know? Just just some good old smackaroos. Uh, we could hit this base. Absolutely could hit this base. Um, it is a little bit lower, but they're online, which is the main thing. Where's Chaotic Drive these days? Sapphire 1, the heck? What in the world? I did not realize they're in Sapphire 1. Cool, interesting. Uh, let's see. We could attack this base, yeah. All right, so pretty much, um, by the way, this is an Empyrean Whale Lord or uh, Dreth. The idea behind this dragon is his main spell is, of course, the um, Sandblast. And this damages all the towers in a like distinct area. Now, the thing is, is that it is a red spell. Therefore, if there is a red mage, you can't use the spell. So you want to use the white spell in order to trap the red mage. You can also use that white spell to trap like more than one tower at once. In this attack, you'll probably see me hit two towers. Um, I don't believe I can hit three as far as I'm aware. Uh, unless I somehow become good at the game, which I am not. Uh, so yeah, anyways. So again, the idea is to use the white spell to disable the red mage long enough in order to use the top red spell. Now, before you use the red spell, what you want to do is also take advantage of the duration or the ability of the red mage being gone, which is that shield that protect protects it normally from um, red spells. So whenever you disable the red mage, what you want to do first is actually kill the red mage with this spell right here. Um, unfortunately, I can't do it with this one because there's another red mage in the back. Um, all right, one second, guys. Great. <clears throat> I screwed up. I I'm not going to end the attack. I kind of screwed this one up because I hit the blue mage instead of the red mage because I got greedy. Um, so that was a very bad example, um, and I'm not gonna quit the. I'm not gonna like stop the video and show you guys only successful runs because I think that defeats the purpose. Um, but the issue with that run, for example, was I didn't hit the red mage first, and then also I got a little bit screwed up because this red mage also protected this red mage. Uh, so good job on the defense for that one. Um, we should have been able to get a lot farther on that one, but that was on me. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go again try and get a similar base we don't want to hit too high because again it's not like this dragon is not super good in terms of gear uh actually you know what we may be able to hit manatee man ma manatee manatee oh wait is it manatee like the like the mammal maybe maybe actually i think that might be it sorry i just had a realization there um so we'll go ahead and use this dragon Again, there's no red mage here, so we can use the sandblast spell immediately. We want to entrap this red mage, kill it, and then we can use sandblast on these back towers. The issue, or one of the issues with this guy, is he has no resist. So all towers are going to screw this guy up real freaking fast. Um, so that is something to keep in mind while flying this dragon, is that you can't necessarily leave a tower for rage, because he has no tower that's going to deal decreased damage. Um, now the nice thing is that you can actually touch these towers and it won't, um, it won't, sorry, uh, sometimes it's hard to fly and 
talk as well. Um, you, you don't actually have to not touch them in order for them to stay sanded. You can actually hit them, and they will still remain sanded for the short duration of the spell. Now, between islands, what you want to do is you want to use that healing spell, the bottom spell, um, even if there's not a tower that you actually can hit. The reason behind that is because it gives you that extra rage, which is crucial um, to this dragon. Well, not extra rage, but extra HP. As a sorcerer, HP is something that he definitely needs. So being able to heal up, and you can see that it actually, the duration on that one-shot kill spell actually resets as you go along. Um, so you want to make sure, sorry, I was a little bit, took me a second there to actually use that spell. Um, I sh it should have been pretty much instant. There we go, um, and we will entrap this, we will hit that, get that HP back, and then um, we will kill this red mage with that, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, that duration ends in order for us to kill it. Did we hit? Yeah, we got it, sweet. Okay, that was, that was a little bit close. But okay, so again, we use the shield, we use the red mage, we kill the red mage, and then we use the Sandblast. It is a very repetitive dragon. Um, like, like most dragons, again, you want to use that healing spell, get HP back. It's basically free. It literally actually quite is free, um, as it is a rageless spell. Um, that island, I didn't actually have to use it. I thought there was a red mage. My apologies there. Um, we can go ahead and kill off. Should have hit all of them um, with that. Not all of them, but just hit two at a time, actually. But I messed it up. Uh, not a big, big deal. And, uh, yeah, you know, not, not too shabby. Not a, like, amazing run, but not a terrible run at that either. Uh, we at least got through it. I think that was, like, a 9 billion uh, defense. Realistically, I believe that on her screen or his screen, it should show about, what, uh, 12 bill? Something like that? 12 bill? So not terrible. 12 bill versus a 4 billion something dragon. I'm hoping that we get a defender because that will really show this dragon's usability. Um, the only issue, if there's a defender, um, one of the bigger issues is that if there is a ice flak, which on most bases there are ice flak these days, um, you'll get screwed over really, really quickly because what they'll do is they'll just use that ice flak and what will end up happening is whenever you try and, um, like, uh, what is, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, use the, use a shield, the white shield to, absorb all the mage shots, that ice flak will take away the shield, therefore the mage shots can hit you. You lose rage, you're pretty much screwed with this dragon. Um, like most sorcerers, you know? If you get hit, you're pretty much done for. Okay, so we have an 8 billion base. This is good gear too. Um, <clears throat> if this is defended, we probably won't be able to take it. Uh, but we will try. We will try. We probably will fail. But um, we'll have to see. Now the the one way that we would actually be successful if this is defended, or if it's not going to be defended, then we don't even have to talk about it. But um, the one way we would be successful is if they didn't have enough time to use the um, Ice Black Super Shot, which is not uncommon, uh, actually. So let's see if it will use a Super Shot. No, it won't. Okay, we go ahead and prepare the uh, White Spell. We get ready, we want to entrap that, there we go, sweet, and then use it on these towers right here, and then we do this, and then we do this, and then we do this, and then we do not that, okay, um, and then we just kind of go from there. Again, use the white shield whenever it comes up in order to give you s some uh, shield, well, uh, yeah. a surprisingly shield gives you a shield. Um, just to make sure that you don't take as much damage, again, use the healing spell to gain that HP, it's literally free. Um, then we kill the red mage again. We use the red spell without the fear of it unlocking the red mage. And again, pretty solid dragon. Against bases that are, you know, maybe a little bit higher level than he is, he is going to struggle. Because again, he depends on this red spell. And if you don't have enough um, of an HP, or, well, yeah, it's because it's based on HP. If you don't have enough HP in order to do significant damage against towers, um, he's going to get screwed over really quick. So again, that's the that's the main issue with this guy. He's not like Sylphen where you can set up really high level bases with him if flown correctly, uh, because it, the, the way his skills work, it just doesn't work with that. Um, but you know, not a terrible attack. Again, like double his attack power, so not terrible. 
Um, anyways, guys, hope this helped you guys out. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see any other dragons uh, featured like this. But yeah, hit me up in game if you are interested in joining Dark Shades, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, fellas.